all right guys so the purpose of creating this video is to show you how to do maximum in dungeons and how to accumulate more titanites as you can see i'm starting my day fresh today with zero contribution in titanites i'm at level 4311 already so it's gonna get tougher and tougher but i'll do my best to show you <clears throat> how to deal with the higher levels of dungeons so number one you need your Sigurd's uh, weapon as high as possible so that he can do healing. As you can see, my health regen is almost 10k now. So I'm gonna upgrade this by one more. Okay. And then next thing I see is Hyperion. His health regen is now almost 15k. So I'm gonna upgrade one more. <coughs> Then next is Araji. He can cause maximum damage to uh, fire room in, in the fire room and as well as in the mixed rooms. So I'm gonna increase his attack also by one. These three should be your top priority. You need one strong tank. It could be Angus. It could be Sigurd. Sigurd has the advantage of healing while he fights. So I prefer Sigurd. But if your Angus is maxed out, he can also do if your angus is at 120 the maximum level and if his health and extra damage to water titan skin the primordial skin is also maxed out then he can one shot uh, the opponents uh, until good levels obviously when the opponents get to 120 and beyond i haven't gone to that point so i don't know what happens exactly but i'm assuming there must be some solution <clears throat> anyway then second key thing is this trio of light titans solaris uh, you need again the weapon to be as high as possible preferably in the 70s range so it is at 72 here the second artifact uh, helps in extra damage to all titans so again you want to keep this in 35 to 50 range the balance seal gives extra physical attack and health so you want this to be in the 50s range Coming to the skins, obviously skin I have maxed out, so he has physical attack and total power is 60k. Um, Mort and Keros are also helpful, but nowadays I don't use them anymore. They're only useful when my tank suffers and I need them as backup. They're also good. So 3 light plus 2 Mort and Keros, can, 2 dark titans can also be great combo. Three light titans plus Hyperion plus RRG is a great combo for arena and global wars. And uh, you can also do three light titans plus Sigurd plus Hyperion or plus Hyperion plus Angus. That's another great combination. <coughs> so ERE skin I have maxed out. Amon's skin I have maxed out. So Amon has 64 attack. Kiari has 65k attack. In terms of level she is at 107. M1 is at 105 and my Solaris is at 112. However, I've not been able to gather soul stones for Solaris. So it's at only five star, not absolute six star. But I don't think it makes much of a difference because only a little bit of health and physical attack would have got upgraded and the Titan power would have been 65k now instead of 60.5. But I don't think it makes much of a difference in the fight. So let's go and check it out. Now the key is to deal with the first fight very smartly. The first fight your titans are not warmed up. And you won't be able to basically... Um, I mean you will lose a lot of health in this. If you don't uh, take this room carefully. So it's not a good idea to sacrifice health of your main Sigurd or other people. So what I do in such cases is I take a route of sacrificing my Hyperion Solaris and keeping my back heroes protected so that even if Hyperion and Solaris lose half the health, I can heal them in the next fight and they're fine. If you put ERE, she might get killed totally. So it's a bad idea. Don't put any tank. So I will put uh, Mort and Keros in such cases and put a light titan aim on so that maximum damage happens to only oops my goodness look at this Hyperion almost died 
okay so it can backfire in certain cases but it has protected me from the future so in the first fight i'm gonna use all four here now i'm gonna use and now hyperion will start healing back <clears throat> good that i have two fights back to back for water titans so my hyperion is healing here you can use only aradian ignis but not for the first fight in the first fight you're gonna use Kalosh. let him sacrifice a little bit of health and remember i'm in very deep in the dungeons so my level is different your level would be different in the lower level it will be easier for you now pay attention now Mulosh has already lost some health right we don't want him to die completely but my araji is not charged look at the energy bar if ignis and araji had almost near max energy bar i would have used only araji and ignis so i am forced to use Mulosh and let's let him suffer a little more in the next battle i will be able to use them now what i'm gonna do is get rid of Molosh from here and let araji take some damage now, araji is at 50 percent health but i can heal him here i would be using all four titans because i don't have a strong angus yet now here is the key now your hyperion has healed a little bit uh, so what you want is sigurd to take the front row and araji to heal after him but we also need another support if araji is at number two he will not gain health he would rather lose health okay so now let us see what happens now my hyperion has healed my araji has healed my solaris is 100 percent my nova is 100 percent sigurd has lost 60 percent health i mean 40 percent health he's at what 60 so long as it doesn't drop below 50 percent you're still good so there's no problem all right so let's see okay sigurd is still recovering a little bit so that is good now i'm gonna use again only araji and ignis araji again uses loses 30 percent i'm gonna use all sigurd recovers again all and since the energy bar of nova is not high now i'm not gonna use nova i will instead put um who can we put it needs to be a tank in front of uh araji so it using angus can be tricky he might lose more health so we can use a little bit of avalon here So I hope you guys are getting the idea. The front two titans must have uh, energy bar full so that they can ult faster and your third hero can heal. Now Nova is also fully healed and I can again let Raji lose some health. Again I'm gonna use all. Again, all. Now we don't want Nova to lose more health. So we will let Mayri take some damage. Raji healed a, bit, a bit again. Again, remember, guys, do not put both Ignis and Araji together to heal. Hyperion won't be able to heal, it will heal the Titan with the lowest health so again we will use the same combination now araji is fully healed in the next fight if okay now ignis has lost half the health so it's important to heal ignis so now i need ignis to heal but again if i put araji in front he will lose a little bit of health so I'm taking a gamble here. So both Araji and Sigurd took some damage. Ignis healed 100%. Hyperion is 100%. Solaris has 100%. So this way you can keep healing through the mixed rooms. Now we don't want Araji to suffer. We want Araji to heal. So I'm gonna put 
Mayri because his energy bar is full. So now Araji has healed a little bit, still not 100%. So I need one more mixed room to heal Araji completely. Now it's tricky, so I'm not gonna lose more health on Araji. So I'm gonna put a support in front of him so that he doesn't lose health. I'm gonna use Earth Titans as a break. See, the key is to survive as long as possible. And if you go too deep into the dungeons, now it is level triple one. So until you have leveled up to 113, you won't be able to uh, continue winning easily. So you will put yourself in trouble. So you should see your Titanite contribution is 288. If you are at lower level, it will be much easier for you to play and uh, keep digging further. I won't go too deep. Otherwise, after that, my next day will be screwed. So what I'm going to do is instead of putting this, I'm going to put Amon because he can ult. Araji didn't lose much health, just a little bit. Now I will continue with all four so that even if Molosh dies, we will reach our target. This way you can accumulate a lot of gold in the dungeons. And upgrade your heroes. So I don't know how many rooms I cleared today. But as you can see, I think I'll use this. So you need to rotate and since my water titans are most powerful and they can self heal, two of them can self heal, I prefer the water titans rooms. Now Araji is almost healed so he's fine and look at the amount of gold I'm accumulating. At this point, gold has become insignificant for me. I think I have 9 million or so. Now here, I'm not gonna let him die. I will let Araji take some damage. So he's half hit. Now I'm gonna heal Araji by putting someone in front like Myri. So I hope you guys are getting the point by observing this video that you need to rotate titans like this. Let Araji and Ignis take the damage then in the mixed room heal them. You need one set of titans very powerful. Preferably the water titans because Hyperion and Sigurd both can heal. Myri and Nova can be slightly lower level, it doesn't matter. Because as they take damage, they will keep healing also. Now here it's a tricky situation. In this Angus will die, in this Molosh will die. And if I don't let Molosh die, then Araji will be uh, hit so bad that he won't be able to heal. So this is a tough choice. I'm gonna let my Angus suffer. And I don't wanna do too high so that I won't be able to do any more tomorrow. So if you haven't upgraded to level 120 for all Titans and maxed out skins, you cannot do unlimited Titan dungeons. And then there will be cases like this where you have no option. Here it is only one room, right? So. We can't do much. Now Molosh will die. Now Molosh has died. So I need to be careful with the fire titans. I will let my Angus die. So this way I have accumulated a lot of gold and 492 titanites. I'm gonna continue till 500. And at this point, I should honestly stop. But I'm gonna dig a little deeper. I know I'm making my life tougher for tomorrow. But since I'm making this video, I wanted to show 
you guys that you can go deeper and deeper and deeper and keep accumulating more and more and more titanites so i'm trying to help my guild in reaching the next level of 3000 now angus is almost dead and if i let raji suffer then in next game raji will be dead so i will have to put someone in front nova in certain cases what you can do is also remove raji from the picture and just use three light and two dark titans that can also be risky at least one of them will get killed at such high levels now as you can see my sigurd is also losing health and he's not gonna recover unless he gets a lot of water titan fights which is not gonna happen again so I've reached 4370 and I'm honestly gonna stop at this point because I've accumulated 700 titanites and beyond that it will be tough day for me tomorrow so hope you guys understood how to level up titans now when you get titanites you buy this titan potions obviously and then as much as you can now i have 10,000 titanites so i'm gonna look at my trio of solaris ere amon we need to keep growing them we need to keep growing sigur till he max out then we need to keep upgrading angus also because my earth titan rooms are getting tougher and tougher i'm not going to upgrade my mort mulosh keros ignis or vulcan or myri because they're support however in my earth titans uh, there is nobody at 120 so i need support for my angus so keep upgrading avalon after that keep upgrading eden so today I have invested my titanites into Eden. <clears throat> now next round when I get gifts from my guild as they cross the 3000 and 4500 titanites. I am gonna dump those into my ERE because she heals. Then day after when I do my round of titanites and get more. I am gonna invest in Solaris. And then the day after that I am gonna invest in Amon so that this trio also keeps growing towards the 120 and i can keep beating my opponents and keep accumulating uh, you know usually 700 to 750 titanites a day and this way if there are 10 players in your guild who are doing 700 to 750 titanites others are doing just 100 100 all of you will get the maximum reward of 7500 titanites a day and this way everyone in the guild will get stronger and your titans will grow faster so this is home once again full-time entrepreneur part-time gamer and hero wars lover if you like this video do share with your friends like and subscribe to my channel in case you are new and keep dropping your valuable comments so that i know what should i cover in my future videos it can be around titans, it could be around understanding talismans, it could be around building counter teams, countering meta teams or upgrading your current heroes, understanding how to level up skins, how to level up glyphs and anything else that you may need from me. So until, that, until next time, bye bye.